Frankenstein and Dracula, the intertwined histories of our favorite monsters. You can't keep a good monster down. It seems as though now the undead are more popular than ever. But long before Twilight and The Walking Dead, the writers Bram Stoker and Mary Shelley created the granddaddies of modern monsters, Count Dracula and Frankenstein's Creature. This pair is now so ingrained in popular culture that they are even spokesmen for children's breakfast cereals. Yet when first unleashed upon the world, each character creates a sensation, and both novels make for thrilling reading to this day. But few people, even horror aficionados, know the fascinating intertwined histories of these two characters. The true origins of both Frankenstein and the English vampire novel begin together with a massive volcano and the largest explosion ever recorded, a volcanic eruption in 1815 with a force equal to 5,000 nuclear bombs. This turned what was supposed to be a pleasant holiday in Switzerland into a succession of dark and stormy nights filled with ghost stories and the world's most famous writing contest. After almost a century of frightening audiences on the stage, both Frankenstein and Dracula were made into notable but cursed silent films, which were both doomed to early graves. And yet both movies survived their would-be burials in surprising ways. At the beginning of film's sound era, both books were adapted again, in the hands of the same Philadelphia journalist, into the iconic movies with Bela Lugosi as the definitive Dracula and Boris Karloff as the definitive Frankenstein's monster. Originally, Bela Lugosi had both roles. Twenty minutes of lost test footage was shot with him as Frankenstein's monster. Please join me, rare book and film expert Dan Gregory, at the Woodbury Public Library on Wednesday, October 23rd at 7 p.m. for a fun, fast-paced, and fact-filled illustrated lecture where we'll examine these two favorite monsters. From their early histories amid real Draculas and real Frankensteins, through their campy run-ins with the likes of Abbott and Costello, the Munsters, and Rocky Horror, to the serious reinventions of the undead by modern writers and filmmakers. In doing so, perhaps together we'll come closer to answering the question, why do the myths of Frankenstein and Dracula continue to haunt our cultural consciousness?